Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today, we'll be talking about the new Mizuno Wave Rider 27. The Wave Rider 27 is coming out in June in 2023. This is Mizuno's mid-cushion neutral shoe. So this is like your everyday trainer, your workhorse shoe, your mile to a marathon, I can do a little bit of everything in it shoe from Mizuno. You know, when you see a shoe like model 27, that's usually a pretty good indication that shoe has been doing well for the brand for a long period of time. And this is the shoe that's been in the Mizuno family for the longest amount of time. Uh, this shoe has a pretty aggressive 12 millimeter drop from heel to toe. On the men's side, it weighs in at 9.9 .9 ounces, and on the women's side, it's 8.3 ounces. So for like comparing it to other shoes in that mid-cushion category, this shoe is on the lighter side of that sort of spectrum there. I wanted to touch back on that just real quick on the fact that this is the Rider 27. You know, there's a lot of people that come in the shop, they're surprised to see Mizuno here on our wall. And I and it, it, it's usually, there's two different forms of surprise. There's, I've never heard of this brand, or I know this brand from some other aspect, maybe not running. And I just, I feel like sometimes this brand gets disrespected a little bit because it's been making running, they've been making running shoes since the early 1900s, like 1906. It's one of the first brands that was really featured in the Olympics in like 1910. So they've been doing this a long time, but for some reason, a lot of people think of them in like softball and golf and baseball because they have a wide range of stuff that they make, but let's not forget it. They started and they got their sort of, they got their wheels going in the running world. So this is what the shoe that's been around them for the longest amount of time. And they've been doing this a long time. I say that because there's some things about Mizuno that is different from a lot of other brands. And to me, I think it needs to start with the respect that this brand has been doing it a long time and they sort of have their values in which they want their shoes to be produced. And that has stayed true to this brand. So one of the things that is pretty common with Mizuno shoes, as I mentioned a minute ago, is that it has a 12 millimeter drop. Some shoes that have a 12 millimeter, drop, 12 millimeter drop, you don't notice it as much, but I've always felt when I put a Mizuno show, I'm pretty aware that the heel and the toe is pretty aggressive. There's a lot of other brands out there that we carry that also have a high 8, 10, 12 millimeter drop, but for some reason on the Mizunos, I'm much more apparent to it. This being a neutral shoe, it is on their softer side, but I think one of the reasons why I'm more apparent and more aware of the 12 millimeter drop is Mizuno shoes, compared to a lot of other ones, even in a neutral soft category, to me just fit a pinch firmer. There's just a little bit more structure, even in their neutral side. I think part of that is that wave plate that they have going through it. And you can see through this shoe, this little plate that kind of goes through here. And it's supposed to kind of help that wavy sensation of moving you through your gait cycle. You can feel the little firmness of the shoe when you're leaning back on it, run it. Like it's trying to get you up and it's trying to get you to snap through. Not necessarily the same way you see in like rocker platform shoes out there, it sort of has their own proprietary way of doing that and they've been doing it a really long time. So that plate almost acts like a little bit of enhanced stability. So while this shoe is neutral and while it's softer than some other shoes in the Mizuno family, it's still compared to shoes in the same category of a mid-cushion neutral, a pinch firmer. And I think part of that is that plate in there that gives just to me a little bit of enhanced stability. In fact, we see that people even on carbon plated shoes, it adds stability to the shoe if you're somebody who really needs some pronation control that the plate of a plated shoe will help with that. The same kind of idea comes along in the Mizuno Wave Rider by giving a little bit of hand stability. This shoe is nice and light, which is great, and it really has a nice toe off as you're running through it. One of the other things that Mizuno shoes, at least from our fitting perspective, is they fit a little bit narrower than a lot of other shoes. In fact, some of the models we carry from Mizuno in the shop, like the Mizuno Inspire, which is the stability counterpart to the rider, we only stock in wide. And a lot of times, I don't even tell people it's a wide because to me, the wide shoe almost fits like a standard in a couple other brands that we carry. I will say on this particular rider, this fits a little wider to me than some of the other shoes that I've carried from Mizuno. So what I'm basically saying is this shoe fits a little bit more easy on people's foot. And there's been a lot of people that if I'm fitting them here at the shop and they're on that cusp between a standard and a wide, I won't even pull them a Mizuno because I have a feeling that it's going to fit too narrow. But now I feel like this shoe, and part of it I think is the upper feels a little bit more breathable. That was one of the changes from, 20, from version 26 to 27. It's just a little bit better, more breathable, a little more stretchy upper to it. And, and just like the last one, they're making two different uppers. This one is, a, is, is more of a, it's a woven upper to it. It weighs a pinch more, but it's a little stretchy. It's a stretchy woven fit upper. Um, but it just fits a little more accommodating. And there's some shoes in the 
neutral category from other brands that as, a, as a, somebody who's on the wider side of a standard width, they don't feel good. But the Mizuno Rider 27 and just a standard Fit D, the sizing is very true. The width feels very true. It feels very snappy. It has, it's more firm than a lot of shoes out there, which I personally like. There are people who like a really soft, squishy shoe where you can kind of feel yourself sinking into it. I always feel like I'm losing a little bit of energy that way. But with Mizuno shoes, I've always felt, I don't know if it's from the plate or just the density of the midsole they use, their Mizuno Energies and it's midsole they're using there, like it has a little more snap to it. But this shoe always kind of feels nice and light and fast and a little bit firmer, which again, I like. Just, just be aware, it has a little bit higher of a heel to toe drop, which a lot of people like and are accustomed to, but just something that if you're coming from a shoe like a, like a low drop shoe, it's a shoe you'll probably notice right away that your heel is lifted a little bit. But if you're somebody who suffers from like Achilles tendonitis or just wants to have something that has a higher drop, this is a perfect shoe for that. The other thing I've noticed with Mizuno shoes, just because they've been around a long time, their durability is spectacular. I would say there's some brands that I carry that when people say, I've noticed this shoe breaks down faster than other shoes, I'll say, you should try Mizuno because you can beat the crap out of it and it will just keep coming. And that's how this shoe has always been. Again, I don't know if it's just because they've been making shoes for 100 plus years, but Mizuno shoes across the board for us have always really stood the test of time. They've really held up well for all sorts of activities, mileage, even terrain. These shoes, even though this is a road shoe, you can really beat the crap out of it. And if you felt like you needed to take it on some gravel roads and such, I wouldn't worry too much about this shoe getting eaten up because there are some brands I carry that do get eaten up under those conditions much faster than the Mizuno shoes. So anyway, I hope that helps answer some questions on the new Mizuno Rider 27. This is available now. It is $140, so that price has stayed the same from previous generations to now. Um, any questions, feel free to leave it down below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. And if you'd like to purchase this fine product, check out the link below. Enter promo code RUNMORE, just R-U-N-M-O-O-R-E, and you'll save 10% off this model and we'll ship it out to you for free. Hey, if you found this video helpful, do me a solid and give us a like and subscribe. It certainly helps us find new people out there. And uh, happy running, happy walking, happy all that stuff, and hopefully we will see you around town.